People in eastern Idaho taking measures to protect their property from flooding. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Last week's cool wet weather brought more flooding to the area, but we may not have seen the worst of it yet. Flooding situation has stabilized along the Snake River, but that can change very quickly. Phil Campbell's been working this story for us. He joins us now live from the Rose area in Bingham County. So, Phil, just how bad are things there right now? Well, Todd, we haven't seen the Snake River this high in years. Now the flood waters are starting to approach the highway. That hasn't happened since 1997. The Memorial Day weekend is normally the kickoff to the camping season, but some campers had to find alternative places to camp this year. The Firth River bottoms are closed off to camping, and good luck towing the fifth wheel through the Rose Pond area. Dozens of camping spots are closed, if not totally submerged right now, as eastern Idaho prepares for additional flooding. There's a very good uh, chance that we'll see some higher flows on the Snake River yet than what we've seen um, here over the past couple of weeks. And we haven't hit the real warm temperatures that really caused the rapid snow melt uh, for the uh, you know, a lot of that Snake, Snake River uh, headwaters area is still holding anywhere from 25 to 50 inches of water equivalent in a snowpack. So there's still a lot of water yet to come off. The flooding situation can change in a hurry, especially if the temperature begins to warm up. Right now, moderate to major flooding is occurring in Bingham and Jefferson counties. The Firth High School football field is being protected by a temporary wall. Meanwhile, across the street, the Riverview Arena is seeing more of the river than they would like to. For the most part, property damage has been kept to a minimum so far, thanks largely to the fact that the National Weather Service and the Bureau of Reclamation have been working in conjunction to keep Jackson Lake and Palisades as viable flood control options. Right now, the worst thing that can happen is for a prolonged warm-up. We need to stay uh, vigilant in the keeping track of the weather forecasts, the uh, uh, watches or flood warnings that uh, may be issued for your area, and be prepared. It's, uh, once the flooding starts, that's not the time to start reacting. Well, Todd, we can get used to seeing images like this as the National Weather Service is saying that Snake River will be high at least until July. Todd, back to you. All right, Phil Campbell reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Phil.